My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. Ah, it's probably just that we're tired. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Shall pass. Stop. You must pay a toll. Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. None you shall pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Construction paper jockey shorts? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass.
Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Do you know where the Swordmaster lives? Forget it, kid. She cut your head clean off. Unless, of course, you got some training first. Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. What did you say? I said it's a little chilly out here. Huh. You're right. I could catch a cold. What do you want? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... The machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance, distance! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose. Watch your footwork. Use your forte against the foible. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros... They know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with? So's your mother. 
I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? Oh, yeah? I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah, oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. <laughs>